What is the Iran deal? The Iran nuclear deal, also known as the JCPOA, aims to limit Iran's nuclear program in return for lifting nuclear-related sanctions on Iran. It was signed in 2015 between Iran and the permanent members of the UN Security Council, plus Germany, after more than a decade of international negotiations. What are Iran's obligations under the accord? First, Iran has to reduce its uranium and plutonium stockpiles. Second, Iran also agreed to limit its uranium enrichment to 3.67% for 15 years, far from the 90% needed to develop a nuclear weapon. Third, Iran agreed to dismantle two-thirds of its installed centrifuges, as well as its heavy water reactor capable of producing weapon-grade plutonium. And finally, Iran also agreed to the most rigorous inspections ever implemented by the International Atomic Energy Agency. What does Iran get in return? In return, the nuclear sanctions imposed by the EU, the UN and the US are lifted. Is the deal working? According to the IAEA, the deal is working and Iran has adhered to its nuclear obligations. As the IAEA Director General said this past March, as of today, I can state that Iran is implementing its nuclear-related commitments. US Defense Secretary Jim Mattis also said in a Senate hearing last October, I believe at this point in time, absent indications to the contrary, it is something that the president should consider staying with. Why does Trump think it's a terrible deal? Donald Trump thinks the Iran deal should have never been made. He doesn't like that some nuclear restraints will expire between 2026 and 2031. The Trump administration also says that the deal fails to address other concerns the US has with Iran, like its ballistic missile program and support for non-state actors in the region. Iran says the US has been implementing the deal in bad faith. For example, it has refused to issue licenses for the sale of civilian aircraft. What happens now that the US has withdrawn from the deal? The JCPOA could still live on if Europe is able to provide sufficient incentives for Tehran to remain in the deal and if Tehran accepts the new situation. But if the deal collapses, Iran could ramp up its nuclear activity once again or escalate tensions in the region against the US and its allies. And if Iran restarts its nuclear program, the US would be left with two options. Use military force against Iran and risk a regional confrontation or find a new agreement going back to square one.